Hey Tubies, it's Psychic Bob. It is so awesome to be back with you guys. Well, you guys are always the best. I want to say thank you to all of you who came out to yesterday's video. We had our horoscopes video. A lot of you seem to really like that. And, uh, you know, I just want to tell you thank you for your support. And also for all the new subs. You know, I've been getting a lot of new people writing me. So I just found your channel. I love it. Thank you so much. Welcome to Spirit Channel. I hope you'll be here. You know, pretty much every day, for those of you who are new, I put out a video. So on Mondays, we do horoscopes. On Tuesday, we do messages from the spirit world. Wednesday is Wiccan Wednesday. Thursday is Vlog Thursday. Friday is Free For All Friday, which anything goes. Saturday, we have our spiritualist class and seance. And on Sunday, we have a live broadcast, The Witching Hour. So we have something here seven days a week, and I, I want to welcome you. Well, today being Tuesday, it's Messages from the Spirit World, and I just love this. Um, you know, it's Messages from the Spirit World that I first started with when I first started YouTube, so um, it's kind of what launched me here. But I want to welcome you, and uh, what we do today is we're going to do uh, little mini psychic readings for people that write into the show. And if you want to get on Messages from the Spirit World, all you need to do is put your psychic question, question for me in the box below this video, or you can write to me in my email, readings at robert-hickman.com and I'd love to, to hear from you. Now, I have to be honest, I get hundreds of letters a week. Uh, right now, I personally cannot respond to every person that writes and that's not to be hateful. It's just a numbers thing. It's just me. I don't have a full staff to manage everything, uh, but I do the best I can. And uh, please know that if you write a letter to me, I do read. I do read all my mail. I actually do read it, but I can't actually write to everybody. So, um, you know, I hope that you understand that. But, you know, if you have something that's urgent and pressing and you need, you know, more immediate attention, you might want to consider investing in a private session with me. Uh, I am a full-time professional psychic medium, and I've been doing readings for, gosh, like 30 years now. <laughs> it's hard to believe I'm getting old. But, um, no, I love to do psychic work, and I'd love to get to you get a chance to have you on my schedule. And if you want to get on my schedule for private reading, private reading, now that's different than what we have here. Private reading is just you and me one-on-one -on -one for a full hour. And we cover everything, past, present, future, spirit guides, messages from deceased loved ones who come through. Uh, we look at your life mission, your themes, what you're here for, your karmic links, and I answer all of your questions. So you get Psychic Bob's undivided attention for a full hour. And a lot of you have sat with me, you've really enjoyed it, so, um, you know, I want to thank you. But uh, that's another way to connect with me, and if you want to get on my schedule, give me a call at my office, 703-825-3929, we'll get you on, okay? But, uh, yeah, so, oops, my light is going in and out again. I have this strange, whenever I start channeling, the light goes crazy. Um, but I'm glad you're here today, and we're going to look at your letters. Now, you know, I also want to say... Um, even if your letter doesn't get answered, listen to all the letters because you never know. You might get a, a message through somebody else's letter because, you know, I've seen the spirit people do that. So always listen because you might learn something new. And even if your letter doesn't get answered, um, you may still get a message. So, so just be open to that, okay? Well, before we get into all the letters today, let's just take a moment. Let's center ourselves and let's attune to the spirit world. Okay. <laughs> I hear Fletcher's voice back here. Fletcher's my spirit guy, for those of you who don't know him. But uh, he'll be helping us today. All right, let's jump into our letters. My first letter today is for Giancarlo. Hello, Giancarlo. Giancarlo says, Thank you, Bob, for your lovely messages. Thank you, Bob. May I ask a question for the next show? I work full time, but would like to study for a master's degree next year too. Do you see this in my path? Hi, Giancarlo. Yes, absolutely. Um, I do see around. You got a lot of yellow in your R. Yellow is the light of learning and opening the mind. So I do feel energetically you're at a place where you should definitely pursue your degree, okay? Actually, I see you going on to be with masters, and I do see you eventually going on to a doctorate, okay? 
um so anyways yeah definitely definitely be open to that okay what's interesting i gotta tell you i get two different fields around you and i don't know if this makes sense or not but i'm getting a psychology around you and also another thing it's like business or business administration so i think that you're kind of like one of these people you've got kind of the right brain intuitive side and the left brain logical side and i think anything you do um you know education wise will be successful for you but i want to throw out those areas psychology and also business uh but i see both of those around you okay good luck with that thanks for writing blessings to you um all right our next letter is from amanda martin hello amanda amanda writes says hi bob i'm wondering if you see my son coming home to me um his name is emerson he's been in foster care three years it has been horrible his foster mom won't let me come won't let him come home so i'm taking her to trial his brother and sister and mother want him home so badly if you could ask me ask for me i'd appreciate it love you for what you do and thank you uh this is really making me stressed you're amazing uh also wondering what my spirit guides names are hugs and kisses amanda hello amanda um let me tell you hon now don't hate me but i don't see this being easily resolved at this time i do see your son coming back but it's a timing issue and i feel that by you know the summertime around june july time frame is where i feel that he'll come back to you right now i think it's very important that you work with the authorities uh, i know you're a good mom and i think a lot of what's going on with this child is very political i don't think you're a bad mother uh, but I do see him coming back, but it's not going to be till summer. Now, in terms of going to trial, I don't know that that's the best course right now. I'm not trying to scare you, but I feel that the reason why she's not letting the child come visit is there may be some court order or some sort of, um, you know, direction by a social worker who's, who's causing this block. And I think if you try to take her to court, you may find that the timing right now is not successful. I'd like you to wait to around June or July and then revisit this because I think at that time you'll have a, um, an opportunity to be heard uh, without necessarily having to go through a big court trial. And I think things will turn in your favor. So I'm sorry to, to, to tell you that, but it's going to be a little longer. But if you can work with the timing, I think you'll get the best results. Okay. So um, right now, I don't see a court uh, suit as the, as the best option for you. Just let's wait and let's see how the summer goes, okay? Because that's when it's going to turn for you. Uh, around you, you've got Archangel Raphael as one of your spirit guides. And he's helping to, to protect you and to strengthen you right now. And you can ask Raphael to also be with your son because he will. He'll be with Emerson also. And so Raphael can be the go-between between you and your son. So when you want to get a message to your son, you can't reach him. You tell your angel and you say, Raphael, would you take that message to Emerson? And I'll tell you, you know, the angels can do that. And you're going to see in the coming you know, months that there is a, a chance for a reunion. But I want you to ask for your angel, Raphael, to intervene with this. OK, because, you know, the angels can do amazing things. And I've always said the spirit people are, are so fascinating. But if we work with them, we give them permission to be part of our lives, they really can do things to improve things, okay? Anyways, I hope that helps a little bit. And I'm sending prayers up for you. You know, I keep an altar with candles and I pray every day for everybody. So I'm going to put you a, a candle on the altar for you, okay? Let me know how it goes. Give me a post of blessings to you. <clears throat> All right, our next letter is from... Carolina R. Hello, Carolina R. Um, Carolina says, Hi, Psychic Bob. Thank you so much for this vid and all that you do. Question for tomorrow's Spirit Messages video. Uh, do you believe in doppelgangers? I've been told so many times that I look like someone they know or they really think I am uh, the person they know and I don't know the person. Why does this happen to me so often? What does it mean? Or is there something I need to do? Thank you and many blessings your way. Hi, Carolina. Um, 
As for doppelgangers, by the way, for those of you who don't know what that is, doppelganger is literally like an exact clone, a replica of somebody. Um, they say that everybody has their twin, and a doppelganger would be like your twin. Uh, do I believe in doppelgangers? Yes, I do actually. Um, but let me let me kind of clarify how that works. Um, I believe that many times doppelgangers are kind of a split off of our soul. Sometimes in life we go through a period where we're feeling maybe conflicted or we feel such a need to kind of get outside of ourselves that we literally go out and create a clone of ourselves. Now, the doppelganger isn't necessarily a physical person, though it looks totally tangible and solid. Many times it's an astral projection or a thought form project projection. And I can tell you I've had this direct experience myself. Um, in fact, I'll tell you my story. This may make a little more sense of it. Uh, many years ago, um, I got invited to a morning prayer breakfast. It was a bunch of different religious groups getting together. They wanted me to come to, you know, be a part of this prayer breakfast. And I said, I'd love to do that. Uh, but we had a terrible ice storm, so much so that I couldn't get my car out. I couldn't drive. I literally was stranded at my home. So there was no way I could make this. And I had to drive about an hour to get there. Well, I got up early that morning thinking, well, I'll get ready. Maybe I can go. I started to lay out my clothes. And then I said, you know what? The ice is just too bad. And the news was horrible. So I, I just ended up going back to bed. I didn't have a phone number where this meeting was. So I didn't know how to reach the people. So I didn't go. Um, but what was interesting about this is the next day, I got a bunch of phone calls from people at the prayer breakfast. And they said, Bob. Oh my God, why, why did you leave? What happened? We, you know, and I called this one lady. I said, what is going on? She said, you didn't even come in and stay for the breakfast. And I said, what are you talking about? She said, Bob, you walked into the, the hall. It was at a hotel, it's in like a the lounge. And she said, you walked up to us and said, good morning. And she said, uh, and then she said, we told you to come in that the breakfast was being served. And you said, I'll be there in a minute. And you walked out and you never came back. And I said, really? I said, well, what was I wearing? And she said, oh, you were wearing, um, you know, a gray suit and you had a, like a blue tie and you had your lapel. I had this lapel pin I used to wear on, like you always wear. I said, oh my God. Well, these were the clothes I had set out the night before that I was going to wear, but I never took them. In fact, they were still in their dry cleaning, but they sued them in dry cleaning. They were still in their bag. I'd never opened them. And so basically, um, and what's happened, I had about four different people who saw me. And one of them was a guy who actually came out and we supposed to had a conversation. And he said, Bob Hickman, what are you doing? And I said, oh, I come for the breakfast. And I was having this conversation. About four people directly interacted with me. Now, this was an hour from my house. There was no way I could physically be there. Um... And I never left the house. My car never moved. My suit was never out of the dry cleaning bag. Uh, in fact, my car had been snowed in for two days. I didn't even take it to work. It was that bad. So I had a doppelganger. And I believe what happened was that uh, on a soul level, I so much wanted to be there that some part of me projected there and I materialized. And I said, did I look strange? Or what? they said, no, you're just like you always are. And you're smiling and talking to us. And I said, was I, and I said this last, I said, was I solid? And she goes, of course you were. You look like you always look. I was standing right with you. Never went there, never happened. But it did happen on some level. So that's a doppelganger. And I think that you, Carolina, have so much power that you project your soul at times. And that's what that is, okay? Uh, in terms of what do you, you know, what do you need to do? Nothing. It's just part of your journey. Um, you know, a lot of times if somebody grabs a doppelganger, like if you're out somewhere and somebody's just grab you, you'll dematerialize. And that's happened to people too. Uh, it's really a spirit form projection or thought projection. It's not actually a physical body, but it looks absolutely tangible. But it's actually a theory. So that's, that's all you need, okay? Anyways, it's a sign of your psychic power. All right, hope that helps. Blessings to you. Thanks for writing. All right, our next letter is from Diana B623. Hello, Diana. Diana writes, thank you, Psychic Bob. I love all your videos. I do have a question for tomorrow. 
I would love to know how many spirit guides I have and what their names are. I would like to address them by name. Hi, Dana. One of your spirit guides is a lady. She's dressed in like Edwardian clothes. You know, the woman with the big long dresses and the big broad brim maps. Her name is Jennifer, but she goes by Jenny. And I believe she was an artist. She loved to paint, but she's one of your spirit guides. I hear her literally talking. She said, tell her Jenny's with her. And I've got another guy named, it sounds like Philip around you. And I believe he's also from that time era. And I get this since one of your past lives was in the Edwardian time frame. And I believe you lived in England, actually. Uh, but Philip is around you. I believe he was actually a brother in a former life. He said he's a guardian spirit. Now, so you've got Philip and you've got Jenny around you. Those are your spirit guides, okay? Um, and if you just sit down every day and just talk to them, literally, people say, how do I connect to my spirit guide? You just talk to them. Just talk to them like you talk to me. And they'll start to respond. You'll start to sense their presence. You might hear them. You might have a dream of them. But they'll, they'll make a connection with you more closely. Uh, those are your two principal guides. Now, let me just clarify, because I get this question a lot. Every person has about 30 to 40 guides. Okay, you have an inner circle of guides, which is about, you know, anywhere from five to ten guides that they work more closely with you on your immediate circumstances. Then you have an outer band of guides. So think of it as like a circle within a circle. And the outer circle has about, you know, 20, 30 guides. So you can have 30, 40 guides, you know, easily. But usually within they have one or two. Like Fletcher is my principal guide. So he's, you know, my inner circle connection. And I also work with Rose, who you know about, or maybe you don't know. I've never got a name, Rose. Um, and also Doris Stokes has come into my recently to my inner circle. So those are my guides. But you have these two, Jenny and Philip, who are working with you. Okay, so you might want to do some research on the Edwardian era. Um, I think you'll, you'll start to have a deeper connection when you see the clothing of the time and you know, get a sense of what that lifetime was like because you lived there. And that'll help open your past lives as well. Anyways, hope that helps. Thanks for writing. Blessings to you. All right. Our next letter is for Louise Thompson. Hello, Louise. And Louise says, Hi, Bob. Thanks so much for the horoscopes. You're welcome. By the way, I don't remember if I mentioned it. Yesterday we did horoscopes. Check out the video before this. Um, I would love to know what my life theme is. What is my mission here on earth? Thanks for everything you do for us to be blessings, Louise. Hello, Louise. And you've got actually two life themes. You're saying, what? Two? Yeah. Um, one of your life themes is a leadership life theme. Um, and as a leadership life theme, that means that you're called to kind of run your own business. I think you should think in terms of starting your own foundation or starting some type of business where you're the head of. As a leader, you've got to be in charge of stuff, okay? You also have a second life theme, which is a psychic life theme. Uh, I think you have gifts of mediumship, uh, clairvoyance. I think you're clairsentient. All, a lot of these psychic gifts are around you. And I think that this year, a lot of that opens up for you. But both of those are your life themes. You've got a leadership life theme and you've got a uh, psychic life theme. Okay. Um, anyways, I hope that helps. Let me know how it goes. Blessings to you. Oh my gosh, guys. Well, now we're coming to the part of our show. This is something I started about a year ago called Spirit Shoutouts. And these are not necessarily people who have written asking for a reading. They're just messages that come through from members on my channel. So if you're a subscriber, you never know. If you haven't read me a letter, you might get a spirit shout out. So I've got a few here today I want to give out, okay? Uh, my first spirit shout out goes out to, uh, I th I'm going to call her a vamp girl. Her name is spelled V-A-A-M-P-G-L. Of course, it, it could be something else. Virginia, amp girl, vamp. I'm going to call her vamp girl. Vamp girl, hello, darling. Good to see you. Listen, uh, when I saw your name on my channel yesterday, I picked up this, this bright flashing orange light came off of you. And it tells me that right now you're entering into a time of great creativity. And I want you to be open to being open to inspiration, whether it's writing, painting, music, photography, a lot of creative energy here. And spirit people ask me to tell you, watch the month of June. This will be a powerful month for change. 
because it looks like you've been trying to break out of a rut here and it'll happen in June for you. Also, it looks around that time there's some more money coming to you, so it's a good time to work on career issues, okay? Anyways, hope that makes some sense. Thanks for writing. Blessings to you. All right, my next spirit shout out is for Dark. D A R Q. Dark. I like that. Uh, listen, Dark, I got to tell you, um, I heard a spirit talking to me this morning for you. His name is Philos. Uh, he was a philosopher from ancient Greece. And the words he kept saying, he says, tell Dark to look at the bigger picture. It looks like right now you're being very narrowly focused and the spirit people want you to step back and see the longer term picture and the bigger picture. And it looks like there are going to be some transitions around you. This is a real time of spiritual growth and August will be the turning point for you. It looks like around that time there's going to be some more opportunities. Could be a career opportunity uh, around August for you and I feel like that's a time of great opportunity financially and emotionally. For you a lot of mental and clarity at that time and breakthroughs a lot of uh, almost want to say emotional healing as well so august is really where things start to come together but step back and look at the bigger picture that's what they keep telling me okay hope that makes some sense thanks for being here blessings to you all right my next spirit shout out is for lisa stassi hello lisa darling good to see you uh listen you know this morning i saw your name and i was just picking up all this beautiful silver light around you. You know, I love silver lights. This is wonderful. This means prosperity is coming. And they asked me to tell you that April and May is the time of financial blessing for you. Uh, you have an angel that's working with you right now to help this breakthrough. His name is um, Cassiel. I had to write it down. Cassiel, C-A-S-I-E-L. And he's around you to help you have financial breakthrough. And he's also helping you to open your, your psychic ability, particularly your channeling ability. So uh, anyways, watch April and May. Okay, hope that helps out. Thanks for being here. Oh my gosh, guys. Well, listen, that's all the time I've got for Letters Day, but I've had such a good time. I want to say thank you for being here. I love you guys. You're the best. Listen, if you want to be on next week's Messages from the Spirit World, as I said, it's no charge to be on Messages. Put your question in the comment box below this video or you can write to me in my email, readings at robert-hickman.com. That email link will also be in the box below. And while you're out there on the net, check out my website, www.psychicbob.com. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. If you want to get on my schedule, again, give me a call, 703-825-3929. We'll get you on for a private reading with me, and I look forward to it. You guys are the best. Thank you for being here. I love you. We'll see you back here tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Wednesday, Wicked Wednesday. Just be here. We're going to have some cool stuff. We'll see you then. I love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Blessed be.